like many of us, the dyes find themselves reaching for too many unhealthy snacks. Have you got a quick, easy recipe for a healthy snack that you can grab and eat on the go? I certainly do. We're going to make some cheese and ham bites. Are they quick? They are. Are they easy? Yeah. Are they tasty? We'll find out. Then we're your boys. Let's go. Priya gets the boys to work chopping tomatoes and spring onions while she cracks six eggs into a bowl. The great thing about these is that you can keep them in the fridge for a couple of days. You can also freeze them. You could make them at the start of the week and have them ready to just snack on. Brilliant. All right, so I'm done with my eggs. How are we doing with vegetables? After adding the spring onions, Priya also stirs in some mustard powder and the chopped tomatoes. It's basically, it's a one bowl method. Everything's just going in there. The remaining ingredients are then also tipped into the mixture, including some pre-cooked quinoa. Quinoa is a seed and a good source of fibre and protein. I would imagine this is a great recipe to use up any leftover veg. I mean, you could put spinach in there, you could put courgette in there, you could put peppers in there. I mean, Sweet corn. Name the veg, you can stick it in. Absolutely. The last thing to do is spoon it into the muffin tin. I like these. I'll be tempted to whack a little bit of cayenne pepper in there, I think. Oh, or yeah, maybe even some chilli, actually. Oh, now you're talking. I'm going to put these in the oven now. What temperature? 200 degrees. Perfect. 20 minutes later, the cheese and ham bites are ready. They look good. They do, don't they? Well, let's have a go at this, shall we? That's really lovely. Nice bit of seasoning, tang of cheddar, slight bit of heat of the mustard on the back of your tongue, and lovely juicy veg. Mm. I haven't been a fan of quinoa up until now. That really? is a cracking way of eating it. Converted to quinoa. And in terms of nutrition? We've got a whole portion of vegetables per muffin. Wow. And the quinoa is giving us fibre, and we've got plenty of protein in there as well. Costing just 44p each, they're also great value. That is an absolute triumph. I'm glad you like them. Put the others in a biscuit tin, can you? I'll take them on. 